Welcome back to another edition of RGN Quick Play, where we spend a few minutes checking out the basics of new release titles for the Commodore home computers. In this episode, we're going to take a look at Tiny Little Slug for the Commodore Amiga. Ready? The backstory to the game is that you're a tiny leopard slug who has awakened from their slumber and gone out to look for some food. Slug spots a nice looking strawberry in the distance and heads off to collect it when he falls down deep into a hole in the earth. With the thought of the juicy red breakfast still in his mind, Slug is unperturbed and is determined to have a strawberry feast today and sets off to find a way back up to the object of his desire. Tiny Little Slug is a platform adventure game with sticky wall mechanics that sees Slug crawl his way through the underground labyrinth. Initially, Slug is not able to jump and so has to crawl up and down walls and ceilings to navigate across the game world. However, it's important to note that Slug is able to slither across small gaps and climb up steps. The game features a health counter, plenty of checkpoints and infinite number of retries that take you back to the last checkpoint you accessed. As Slug does not have a modem attack, the game is all about evasion by making a Slug move at the right times to get past the hordes of hazards on hand. Some sections of the game world are set in cold surroundings that make Slug feel uncomfortable. While in the frozen sections of the game, you'll find that Slug's health counter reduces by two for every second, and moving quickly through these sections become a priority. Tiny Little Slug is full of neat segues such as this little section of the game that I initially thought was a glitch in the game. In addition to the main objective to get to the strawberry, Tiny Little Slug will require you to complete side quests. Here we have a sad looking frog pining for his lost toy and asking for your help. While well, this snail needs help to find his shell. Throughout the game, Slug will have opportunities to upgrade his capabilities. Eating a hot chili pepper will allow Slug to tolerate the cold section of the game, which means that the health count will cease to automatically drop down. Tiny Little Slug features boss battles that require you to utilise the game environment against your larger foe. Finishing off the boss here opens up a section of the game world where we find a plush toy that belongs to the sad frog.
returning the toy back to its owner results in a reward. Which in this case is the ability to jump. With this upgrade in our abilities, we are able to get through a section of the game that we previously could not get through. And this section happens to contain a shell. Returning the shell to the snail we met earlier, we are rewarded with immunity to spike hazards. Tiny Little Slug is a charming platform adventure game. The use of checkpoints throughout ensures that the game does not feel like an arduous slog, and the quick respawning when you die means that you are able to instantly have another go at any of the tricky sections of the game you come across. The game design deployed encourages you to continue on playing so you can further unravel the story ahead as your slug obtains new abilities to help him traverse the game world. The backing musical soundtrack is very nice to listen to and adds so much enjoyment to the game. In fact the overall production on offer is very good. The only thing to note is that there does not appear to be a save mechanism on the floppy disk version, so you have to complete the game in one setting if playing the game on real hardware. Tiny Little Slug runs on an unexpanded Amiga 500, but do note that NTSC is not supported unfortunately. The game is available as a digital download from the APC and TCP Amiga online shop for 19 euros, or alternatively you may want to consider picking up one of the physical versions on offer. I've really enjoyed my initial play with Tiny Little Slug, and I'm looking forward to getting back into the game to see what journey lies ahead for a little guy. I hope you find this quick playthrough of some interest. Until next time, bye for now.